Hi, I'm Dr. Tish from Recharge Clinic, and I wanted to bring up a little bit of a controversial topic. It's summertime, and we're all going to be out in the sun, but this one is um, interesting because it's something that we're all going to use. Um, it's sunscreen. So, you know, we all use it, and we know to use it and apply it because the sun is so strong. The ultraviolet rays, we know, increase skin cancer, cause skin damaging. But are they all safe? And that's the big question. Well, you know, the sunscreens used to be the topical barrier type, like titanium and zinc. That was the white stuff that people would apply. So no one really liked that, although it was the safest one. Now, they've come up with other ones that are what are called chemical barriers. And basically, they, we apply them to our skin, they block the sun rays. The most common one or the most common ingredient in all of them is oxybenzone. Oxybenzone works very well for sun protection, but it has some side effects. So it's been shown in some studies to cause, um, it's, been, it's one of those things that's an endocrine disruptor. So in other words, it suppresses thyroid levels and testosterone levels and adrenal levels. Now, so is it safe to use? Well, it's controversial, you know, so people are using it. Um, but the thing is that we wanna be very cautious with children in using it and not make sure that we're totally slathering on it because it does do have those effects on them. Secondly, when we're using the sprays, which is very common to use now. Um, it's got the propellant in it, but also we get that, that oxybenzone in our lungs. So we wanna be careful when spraying to make sure we don't breathe and maybe even cover our mouth when we're doing it. So there's some other things that are concerned with sunscreens. One is it really lowers dramatically our absorption of the, the conversion for vitamin D from sun exposure. And vitamin D is an epidemic deficiency. About 75% of the population has low vitamin Ds. So this is also contributing to it. Here's another weird thing. That oxybenzoin has actually been associated with increasing certain types of skin cancer. So it's kind of weird. It's preventing skin cancer from sun exposure, but yet in its own right, it is, um, uh, is dangerous enough that it can cause skin cancers. So this is a very controversial topic. Many people have really wide opinions. So when you're gonna make a choice for sun blocking agents, you have to make a decision and you have to weigh things. Whether you wanna use the topical barriers, which is like zinc and titanium, which have micro nanoparticles that block the sun. And so that's a tried and true method or if you want to use these topical chemical barriers. I think, you know, using some judiciously of each is probably a good choice, but just be aware, particularly around children and younger children when we're applying this, that there could potentially be some side effects. So you have to make exercise good judgment in this, but you also have to be protective of your skin while you're in the sun.